Well, if you've ever seen Suits, The Good Wife, Legally Blonde, or even Family Guy, chances are you've probably seen a montage of a lawyer working late through the night, deep in the stacks, bags under their eyes, until they finally point to the page, a static that they found exactly what they were looking for. While the latter parts of these montages are perhaps exaggerated, the late nights in the baggy eyes, not so much. In 2014, one of Blue Jay Legal's co-founders and CEO, Benjamin Allery, was judging a competition at the University of Toronto, where he was intrigued by the concept of applying artificial intelligence to the law by unlocking the hidden patterns in case law. Alongside two other professors, Blue Jay Legal was built on the idea of bringing absolute clarity to the law everywhere and on demand. By 2015, our first prototype was born, and just four years later, in addition to Canada's largest account, uh, law firms, we're proud to call the big four, agencies within the federal government, and 150 other firms, customers. What's helped make this happen is our team and our approach. And our team at Blue Jay Legal is made up of lawyers and data scientists. And to dispel any inclinations that robots are coming to replace lawyers, we don't only strive to embolden them with our research platforms, we employ them ourselves. Now, when people hear artificial intelligence and case law in the same sentence, they may think of some natural language processing algorithm that scrapes massive volumes of data to provide high-level insights, like who is the judge? What was the decision? Who is the counsel? We take a bit of a different approach at Blue Jay Legal, where we read through all of the cases for the legal areas that we cover, which unlocks more capabilities with artificial intelligence than any natural language processing algorithm. So what does this actually look like for our customers? At Blue Jay Legal, we predict legal outcomes, and we predict legal outcomes by analyzing past court decisions. You can think of a, a judge's decision, a court decision, as unstructured data, where the factors that influence the decision are worded inconsistently. We actually go through and read all of these cases and turn it from unstructured data into structured data, extracting the factors that inform the judge's decision and codifying them. We then feed this structured data into our uh, algorithm, which gives us the ability to predict future court decisions with 90% accuracy. Now, in my role specifically, I work alongside some of the largest law and accounting firms in Canada, uh, in addition to corporations, to roll out our three discrete products, uh, tax foresight, employment foresight, and HR foresight. The best picture, you know, what this ultimately all boils down to for our clients is, is threefold. We look to bolster capabilities, so we save time throughout the research process, maximize consistency at the firm, uh, you know, serving as a great tool for training junior associates, and also provide a new professional standard for these firms to embrace. And the best way to imagine what this looks like is to imagine the day in the life for a legal associate, and for all intents and purposes, Let's imagine a worker classification hits their desk. A worker classification, the legal question is relatively binary, uh, is an organization's worker, an employee or an independent contractor for tax or employment law purposes. Now, when this file would hit a, an associate's desk, typically they dive into the statutory and case law uh, before providing a memorandum to their client. That could take 5, 10, 15 hours. We flipped that approach a little bit at Blue Jay Legal, where our users actually go in and answer a questionnaire, a questionnaire that's very, very similar to what our legal research team fills out as they're turning that unstructured data into structured data. Once they fill out the questionnaire, they're given a prediction uh, of what a future court would decide for their file, in addition to uh, the most similar cases to theirs to back up their case, and a machine learning built memo detailing the factors associated with their file and justification for why we, predict, what we, why we predicted what we predicted. Now, a question is why is now the right time for this type of technology? It's truly because we're moving into the third era of legal research. And to frame what that third era is, it's the computational era. Where we've come from is the analog and then the digital era. The analog era really started in the 1700s uh, and took the form of books, journals, physical libraries, and was a huge innovation for the legal practice because it was the first time that legal data was documented. But it came with some shortcomings. You know, there was a scarcity of resources. You could only comprehend what you have under your own roof. As we moved into the 1970s and the digital era, all of these physical libraries turned into, into digital ones. 
taking the form of CD drives, mobile applications, and cloud-based libraries, which took a ton of information and put it under one roof. But it came with a bit of a catch-22 where the more information that became available, the more difficult it became to gain complete comprehension of the data set. Uh, so as we move into the computational era, we're not only looking to make that data available, but actionable as well. And it'll be actionable through predictive analytics, uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, all aimed at helping these legal professionals work smarter and more efficiently. Now, in my role, uh, I work again with the largest law and accounting firms in addition to corporations to roll out our HR foresight platform and would welcome the opportunity to take any of you through uh, our platform one-on-one -on -one or, or with your team. Uh, our team at Blue Jay Legal is excited to continue our work in bringing absolute clarity to the law everywhere and on demand. And if along the way we're able to help uh, a few lawyers have fewer late nights and less baggy eyes, that's some pretty nice gravy as well. Thank you. <laughs>